Hi, this is Lucia with The Art of Love. I'm a dating and relationship expert specializing in helping you get your ex back. Today, I want to talk about text your ex will send you and, more importantly, how to respond. You may have seen my other video titled, Should You Respond to Your Ex's Texts? where I spoke in generalities in terms of what to respond to and what not to respond to. And I asked people to comment as to what their exes had texted them, and then I would answer. However, there were a lot of comments, and of course, I wasn't able to give detailed answers to everybody. So today, I'm going to give you examples, specific examples of texts that you probably will receive if your ex texts you and exactly what to say, what not to say, and whether you should even respond. But before I do that, I want to remind you to be sure to subscribe if you you haven't already, so you don't miss out on any future videos. And while you're at it, tap the bell icon so you will be notified when a new video is up. So I believe for the most part that the first time your ex texts you, you shouldn't respond because they most likely will not say anything significant because people always want to take the path of least resistance and they want to see if you'll respond with just a simple text. Hey, hello, something like that. And, you know, I don't blame them. They want to see if you're going to respond. And if you do, then it's like, okay, good. I didn't have to put a lot of effort into getting them to respond. So this is why we don't respond. We want to know exactly where they're at. We want to find out what their true intentions are, what their state of mind is. Is it that they're just missing you at the moment, so they want a quick response, so they feel reassured that you're still there for them and they want to talk to you? And then tomorrow, they'll be fine? Or they may be reaching out because they're surprised that they haven't heard from you and they're just checking. It's like, wait a minute, I broke up with them and they're not trying to contact me. What is going on? Especially if you were needy in the relationship. Or maybe their rebound isn't going as well as they'd hoped. And so they want to know if you're still around and why you have gone silent. So you want to know what their state of mind is without asking. Because even if you do ask, they're probably not going to tell you anyway. So you can't be afraid to ignore a first text or call. Because if they're having second thoughts and they really do want to reconcile, they will reach out. If you don't respond, they'll reach out again. And if they don't, then guess what? They weren't trying to get back together, okay? So don't think, I have to respond or they'll never text me again. Then that just means that they weren't going to get back with you anyways. So in most cases, you shouldn't even respond no matter what they say to a first text. And even if you do respond, wait a couple of days. Because again, we want to see what they're thinking, what they're feeling. And if you don't respond, oftentimes they'll text you again later that day. As you'll see in some of the examples I read, the next day or maybe two days later. So you want to see what they're up to. All right, so let's get started. And I have a lot of these. (laughs) Okay. So the first one says, if he writes a good message or I miss you or I want you or something like that before 30 days, should I answer? Okay, I want to put this first because a lot of people ask about the I miss you text. So it really depends on when the breakup was. If it was just two days ago, a week ago, two weeks ago, no, I wouldn't respond because yeah, of course they just miss you, but it doesn't mean that they want to get back together. I would wait at least 30 days to respond to that kind of text. But anything before that, no, they're going to have to uh, try a little more because they might just be trying to be manipulative. And there's many ways that you can respond to the I miss you text. You can just respond with question marks, you know, like what? (laughs) Or you can be kind of cheeky and go, well, of course you do. Or you can say you do with a bunch of question marks. And then they go, yes, I do. And, And then you go, why? (laughs) <laughs> Again, it's like, why? You know, you dump me. Why do you miss me? Or another response is, well, what do you miss? Or, okay, dot, 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 like, okay, yeah, you miss me. And so those are just some ways to handle the I miss you text because that can be confusing. But I guess, again, the longer time has passed since the breakup, the better because that means that they really 
do miss you because they've been without you for a while now and they've thought things over and they're not in their emotions so much and they're realizing maybe they made a mistake as opposed to, you know, you were together a week ago and now a week has passed and they miss you. Well, yeah, because you were just recently together. So the further from the breakup that they say I miss you, the better. All right, the next example is, I just got a text from my ex, hello, after six days of no contact. What should I do? No, we do not respond to hello, hi, hey, any of that stuff. Everything that, everything that starts, starts with an H, <laughs> you do not respond. That's definitely not significant. All right, the next one says, he texted on the sixth day of no contact. He sent me a song and he texted me saying, I still love you. And we both need to work on things. Let me know if you love me the way I love you. I want us to be right. He hasn't called me. It's just texting. I figure if he really wants a relationship, he will call to talk, right? Um, well, no. I mean, he's going to text first again to see if you're going to respond. But again, if it's less than 30 days, just wait. Because if he loves you now, then he's going to love you next week and the week after that. So again, we want to see what is he going to do? Is he going to try again? Don't get fooled just because someone says, I love you. And in fact, that's what the next example is. He goes, after two weeks of no contact, she texted me saying, I love you. I texted her back saying, if you want to talk, I'm open to it. She waited three hours to text me back, then basically says she loves me, but doesn't feel like we have anything to talk about. So I ignored her text. So she was being manipulative with that, I love you. An hour later, she texted me again, telling me that she wants to come over, but I have to respond to her text by a certain time or she would not come. <laughs> so I ignored her text. Yeah, good. Was I right to ignore her? Absolutely. We do not give in to threats. Okay, the next one. All right. Yeah. Oh, he sent a smiley face on the second day of no contact. Hell no. Can't even be bothered to write anything. Just a smiley face. Again, it's the second day of no contact. What do you expect? We do not respond to emojis, especially if it's a grown man or a woman. They know how to talk. They can put in a few words. My ex texted me, Happy New Year. I didn't respond. Now she texted me asking if I was planning on ignoring her forever. <laughs> Should I respond? You don't need to respond to that. You know, if someone texts you, you know, Happy New Year, Happy Thanksgiving, Merry Christmas, all that, all those holidays, they're often, that's often when they pop up. Again, it depends on how long ago was the breakup. The more time it's been since the breakup, the better. So if you just broke up a few days ago or last week and they say happy Thanksgiving or something, no, I would ignore it. All right, the next one is interesting. I didn't respond to his message of how are you and two days later he called me an effing snob. <laughs> Not sure what to say to that. Why would you need to say anything? We don't respond to insults. So obviously this person is not interested in getting back together. So they broke up with you they text you, you don't respond, and suddenly you're a snob. Okay. After four, okay, the, the next one. After four weeks, you finally text me, you should come sleep over. That was more of an insult. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so I'm glad she did not respond. We don't respond to anything like that. I mean, wow, talk about disrespect. First, he breaks up with you, and then he doesn't hear from you for four weeks, and all of a sudden he pops up. Hey, you should come sleep over. <laughs> All right, the next one, what are you doing, love? Are you done going through whatever you were going through? So I don't know in what context this was, if she said she was going through something and he broke up with her, I don't know. But mm, you don't need to respond to that because we don't know what tone he's saying it with. You know, it's like, are you done going through whatever you go, you, you're going through? Or is it nicer? Like, are you done going through whatever you you're going through? So again, just wait. Okay, the next one. Day 12 of no contact, he texted me saying, hey, I just want to say hi, hope you're doing well. I think I know the answer, but should I ignore? Yes. <laughs> you guys know the answer, but you always think, well, maybe this is an exception. This is an exception. If I don't respond to your comment, if I don't get to your comment, then just don't respond. It's better to not respond than to respond and to reassure them that you're still there. 
So we don't answer that, hope you're doing well. Uh, well, you didn't really care if I was doing well when you broke up with me, and now you hope I'm doing well? Okay. The next one. She replied to my Instagram story about a coffee. Finally tried it. Should I respond or not? So the Instagram story thing, again, it depends how much time since the breakup. If it's been 30 days, no, don't respond, or even 60 days. Again, it's very subjective. It depends on the situation. But you don't need to necessarily respond to that if it's within 30 days. Because I have an ex who comments on almost every story, but is he trying to get back? No. <laughs> so just because they comment on an Instagram story doesn't mean they want to get back together. Okay. She texted me a few times how angry and annoyed she was after I did no contact on her for the last two months. She texted, will you at least let me know you're okay? So she breaks up with you, you do no contact, and she's angry, <laughs> and she's annoyed, and why do you need, need to let her know that you're okay? It's because she wants to know that you're still there in case she needs you or needs something. Otherwise, why would she be upset and say, well, at least let me know you're okay, because she wants to make sure that she still has access to you. So I would not respond to that. My ex sent me a song text. It was No Ordinary Love by Shade. Should I respond? He had another, last time I checked, I think this person means they were dating someone else. What to do? If they're dating someone else, I wouldn't respond to the first text. Because, again, they could just be checking to see if you're still there in case their rebound doesn't work. So don't respond to the first contact. All right, you're doing the right thing by cutting me out. It's just hard. This is just this is when you're doing no contact. So you don't need to respond to that. Hey, just checking up on you. Why are you my mother? <laughs> is that why you're checking up on me? You don't need to respond to that. That's not what she's really saying. What this person really means is, I want to make sure I still have access to you. All right, the next one. I posted a status of me in a car crash but I came out fine. My ex saw the post and texted if I'm doing okay. Should I reply? This actually happened to me, but I wasn't in a car crash. I had to go to the emergency and we had been broken up for two weeks and all of a sudden he popped up. Hey, are you okay? And uh, I didn't respond because my feeling was, hey, you know what? If you're so concerned about me being okay, then maybe you shouldn't have broken up with me. So, you know what? It depends how long, again, how long ago the breakup was, but you don't need to respond to that. Okay, next one. After two months of no contact, my ex said, hey, after four hours, I replied. He just read it and ghosted me. Exactly. That's why we don't respond to insignificant texts like hey and hi and all that. Because, again, they want to see if you're going to respond. And then you're going to feel like a fool when you respond and they don't follow up with anything else. All right. The next one says, my ex texted me and said, listen, I need a favor. Can you give me the name of the artist that sings that song I like? I forget who sings it. I didn't respond. Then he texted me a second time. Hello. <laughs> Again, I didn't respond. Then he texted me a third time. I asked you for the name, but you never responded. Anyway, I'm going to drink some coffee and then head to the gym. Why is this guy giving like an updated status report on his life? <laughs> Again, I didn't respond. Good. Then I get a text from him hours later saying good night. So this person is having a conversation with themselves, even though you're not responding. So I'm glad she. you don't need to respond to any of those. She did the right thing. Next, my ex sent me a direct message on Instagram responding to a story of a hike I went on saying it looked awesome. Should I respond? We've actually been in touch involved prior to this about three months after the breakup but recently haven't talked in three weeks. So I don't like the fact that there was a breakup, then you were in touch three months after the breakup, and then there was a three-week break. That doesn't sound like someone that wants to get back together if they're willing to take a three-week break. So in this case, I wouldn't respond. They're gonna have to try a little harder. The next one, what if she says, why no reply after saying hello three times? Oh, she knows why no reply. She broke up with you, so you don't need to reply. The next one, should I respond to I love you? I broke up with him due to his absence in the relationship. The neglect and him not treating me 
the way he should. I know he loves me, and you know this how. <laughs> so I feel he's saying it to make me say it back. I didn't respond because I don't feel it's substantial enough. What do you think? Well, I think it's manipulative if you're saying that he wasn't treating you correctly and um, his absence in the relationship. So now he thinks that you break up with him and he can just pop back in with, I love you, and you'll fall for it. So no, he's going to have to try a little harder than that. The next one, should I respond to the text, how were your exams? They were really important, but he didn't even wish me good luck earlier. Then after some minutes, he said, okay, never mind, forget about this message. I see you're busy. So <laughs> this isn't someone's trying to get back together. If he doesn't even give you time to respond, and after a few minutes, he's like, okay, forget I sent this. Next, that's why you want to wait. You want to see what they do if you don't respond. The next one, it's been two weeks since no contact. Last night, she finally sent me a message saying, missing you is hard. This isn't me asking you to come back. I don't want to interrupt your life. Then why are you sending this message? It's just heavy on me tonight. I hope you're well. Yeah, you don't need to respond to that because she just wants you to alleviate her pain. Next, my ex texted Happy New Year and I didn't respond. And now she texted me and asking if, if I was planning on ignoring her forever. <laughs> so you know what you're going to do? You're going to ignore her. Yes, you are. You're not going to respond to that. Again, she wants to know if she has access. X texted me, Hello, let me know when is a good time to talk. Is this considered substantial? Well, you respond with, talk about what? And again, you can wait a couple of days. You know, when someone breaks up with you, the normal dating rules, dating etiquette goes out the window. So don't think, oh, I'm being so rude. I'm waiting two days to respond. Well, they were rude when they broke up with you. So don't worry about being rude back. You take your time and you respond whenever you damn well feel like it. So if they say they want to talk, it's like talk about what? They could be <laughs> could be about anything. Don't assume that it's going to be about getting back together. All right, the next one. He called. I didn't answer. 30 minutes later, he texted. I called to say hi. Hope you have a good day. Love you. <laughs> so this guy's acting like you're still in a relationship. Hey, Hi, good day, love you. So don't respond to that. He's acting like there wasn't even a breakup. Okay, those of you that have kids, I know you're going to be interested in this. How can you respond to texts or calls if you have a kid and you have to respond? Yeah, you're right. You have to respond. Uh, you only talk about the kid or kids you have together and that's it. Unfortunately, you have to respond. You can't do full no contact, but just stay on the topic of the kids and that is it. Okay, next one. 29 days of no contact. Yay. He texted me last night to tell me he didn't mean to ghost me and wants to know how I'm doing. Should I respond? If so, when and what should I say? Oh, you can only hope that someone ghosts you. <laughs> so this isn't a breakup. This is a ghosting, a different type of breakup. I have the perfect answer. So someone ghosts you and what you're going to do is respond back with, Oh, hey, sorry, I haven't gotten in touch. I've been so busy. How are things? So you're going to turn it around and make it seem as if you are ghosting them or you ghosted them. So instead of saying, where have you been or what's going on? How come you disappeared? No, no, no. No, I was ghosting you. I was ignoring you. <laughs> All right, next one. My ex texted me after 36 days. Hey, I was in your area. I think I was near that pond we went fishing in. Should I respond? She broke up with me and rebounded. Again, oh, okay, 36 days. Nah, I, I would wait. You want them to get to that place where they really miss you, which is between days 45 and 60. So again, this person wants to see if they have access to you and they're just using the excuse of, I was in, uh, I was in the area. How do you know they were in the area? <laughs> Anyone can say they, they were in the area. All right, so my ex, after calling seven times, of which I didn't pick up, good, sent a text saying, just answer my calls. I'm harmless. Should I respond? Harmless? They broke up with you? They ripped your heart to shreds and they're harmless? I don't think so. And besides, why did they call seven times and not bother to leave a message? If they have something to say, then they can say it. <laughs> okay. After one year, he sent me a text with Game of Thrones will come out today 
And it was also one year that I spoke to you. How are you doing, stranger? We always watch Game of Thrones together. Should I respond? Well, after a year, yeah. <laughs> I mean, you're probably over it by now. After a year, go ahead. Maybe they want to get back together. Maybe they just want to be friends. Okay, just a few more. After a month, she texted, hey, how are you doing? Hope everything's well. Yeah. But what she really meant was, <laughs> I can't believe I broke up with you and you didn't reach out the entire month. What's going on? Are you seeing someone new? How can you stay awake? Don't you care? So you don't need to respond to that. Hey, just hope that everything's well. See, how are you doing? Yeah, sure you are. No, you're not. You want to see what's up with me. <laughs> Next one. Me and my ex broke up over a month ago, been in no contact since then. My birthday was the other day. She wished me a happy birthday and I said, thanks. Was I wrong for responding? No, I mean, you can say thanks, but just don't reach out on their birthday. Okay. After four to five days, no contact, she texted me, do you have a girlfriend now? <laughs> you know, because when you do no contact, they don't hear from you. They think, well, surely there must be a good reason why they're not speaking to me. I thought they would be trying to get back together. So you don't need to respond to that. Okay, should I respond to, I'm thinking about you? What does that mean? I mean, that's something that you say to someone if you're giving your condolences, if something has happened to them or their family. Oh, I'm thinking of you. No. Yeah, it's like thinking what? <laughs> you don't need to respond to that either. See, there you really usually do not need to respond. Okay, she sends a text saying, I'm sorry, very sorry. But I ignored her. After two days, she sent a morning wish. I ignored again. Should I replied, well, you should have responded two days later and said, sorry about what? You know, don't make any assumptions. You have to ask, what? What are you sorry about? Next, she texts me, what's up, buttercup? Hope all is well with you and the kids. Don't forget to rock that smile. <laughs> and this was sent to a guy. Hell, why is she calling you buttercup? Do not respond. And she's acting like there's been no breakup. Hey, hope all is well with you and the kids. She's acting like you're old friends. Next one. This breakup is horrible. Sorry, I just have to say it. I'll leave you be. So they want you to help them deal with the breakup. That's why they're reaching out. You don't need to respond to that. Okay, the next one. Why have you been ignoring me? Well, why do you think I've been ignoring you? You broke up with me. Hello. So you don't need to respond to that. And the last one. This guy wrote, there's only one reason why a man texts an ex. Shut up. <laughs> yeah, sometimes it's just for sex and sometimes it's not. So let's not make generalizations. So if your ex texted you and I did not cover it, cover it in this very lengthy video and you still want to know if you should respond, then go ahead, comment below. I'll try to get to it. And in the meantime, if you want to do a private coaching session with me, you can contact me at theartoflove.net. If you're listening on YouTube, remember to like and subscribe. If you're listening on iTunes, I would appreciate if you, you would rate and review the podcast. And finally, remember that love inspires, empowers, uplifts, and enlightens.